Wigand versus OSDP. As you might already know, Vercada Access Control does support both of these technologies, but uh, which one is right for your deployment? In this video, I'll give you a quick explanation. Wigand is the original protocol that readers use to communicate with access controllers. It has been around for decades and surpassed by OSDP, which is an improved version of it. It has encryption, two-way communication, uh, but still, if you look in the market today, most deployments use Wigand. People are very, very familiar with it. And secondly, from a purely security point of view, how can you actually hack it? Are you taking the reader off the wall, inserting your device to scan the traffic, putting the reader back on? Surely it's much easier to smash the window and get in or buy one of those uh, 30 pound devices of Amazon that read low frequency cards and just stay in the vicinity when somebody scans the card. And that's actually one of the main reasons that, uh, although purely from a technical perspective, OSDP is far better, Wigand uh, is still the dominant technology out there. Now, if you are looking to refresh your access control, or if you are in the process of constructing a new building, you should be looking at OSDP. It is the latest and greatest technology for this. The good part is that our readers, the AD series, are all OSDP based. So you get that encryption, you get that two-way communication, you can use your cards and fobs. Uh, we do have an ever-growing list on our website with all the card formats supported. And even better, you can actually use your own phone to get in with Bluetooth Unlock. Um, and this has multiple advantages because first of all, Bluetooth is an encrypted communication. So if you're concerned about people copying low frequency cards, um, well, Bluetooth, you don't have this issue. Secondly, Bluetooth can span lots of meters. So if you're in a position, for example, in a parking lot and you want people to get in very quickly, you can make the un unlock distance long. And that means that people don't need to take their phone out, hover it over the reader, it's raining, it's windy, etc. Last but not least, people tend not to lose their phones or forget them at home and they will probably abuse them less than uh, the usual entry cards doesn't really matter we do support all of them and we do not force you to use one or the other you can actually use both in conjunction now it's all great but probably you're asking yourself well what's the point of weekend and there are a few places where going via the weekend route might actually be better first of all an access control project is very expensive so if you're retrofitting this in existing building and you want to bring the cost down, uh, one way to do this is to utilize your existing readers in case they are Wigan based. The card format need to match. Uh, and if you don't have cards, we uh, also can offer some of those. Secondly, certain cards have a special way of communicating between themselves and the reader. Uh, let's say HIDI class. It's uh, one of the more expensive cards because the card number itself is unique globally. We can understand, our access controller can understand HIDI class, but the reader itself cannot read it. So in that case, as long as you have a weekend based HID reader, you're all set to go. Last but not least, if you might be looking to do things such as biometrics, uh, that's not something that we natively offer in the Verkada platform. But you can look at companies such as, for example, Biostar, that have biometric readers with Wigand interfaces that will then plug into the AC unit behind me. The idea here is that the reader will communicate locally with a server that has a database with card numbers and the actual corresponding biometric information, let's say fingerprints. And if there is a match, the reader will then transmit the card numbers back into the access controller and then we'll make a decision based on the access levels because uh, maybe some people shouldn't be entering for example at a particular time last but not least i will leave you with a, a small trick if you're actually looking to implement biometrics and you want to do it only in the vercada platform what you can do is actually force a door to be unlocked only with remote unlock so remote unlock is the ability to unlock a door from a mobile phone you have to open the phone and then click on a button next to the door. 
Now, how do you actually unlock the phone, right? You use your face, you use your thumbnail, you use a password. Uh, in theory, if um, all the phones are locked, then you automatically have to do a two-factor authentication and just open the app itself.